<laughs> okay. The Board of Education organizes annually by electing one of its members as president and another as vice president. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to call the roll, forgive me. Ms. Cho. Here. Ms. Richter. Here. Ms. Ramba. Here. Ms. Dassau. Here. Ms. Byers Kang. Here. Ms. Colbath. Here. Ms. Han Silver. Here. Mr. Rubino. Here. Ms. Morrell. Here. Thank you. You have quorum. Um, just, I'm, I just got some messages that they can't hear people on Zoom. Are unable to hear. Can you guys hear Diane Baker? If you're out there, send me a message saying that you can. Oh, we hope they can now. Okay. okay. Yeah, they're all set. I think I was muted before. Oh, okay. Board of Education organizes annually by electing one of its members as president and another as vice president. Officers shall serve for one year and until their respective successors are elected. Any member may place a member's name in nomination. A second is not required. Election for each office will be conducted by roll call vote when the nominations for that office are closed. The candidate receiving the nominations, I'm sorry, the candidate receiving the votes of a majority of board members will be elected to the office. The duties of the president and vice president are outlined in district policy 0171. The floor is now open for nominations for the office of the presidency. And if you would please wait to be acknowledged um, and please project and speak loudly so that the folks at the back of the room can hear you. Any nominations for the office of the presidency? Any other nominations? I'll nominate Holly Morrell. Any other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are closed. I will now take a roll call vote for Paula Colbath as uh, Ms. Taylor. Before we vote, if it's possible, I know in some years past we have had the president just give a little statement as to why they would like to be president or you know, that. Yes. Yes. Would the nominees like to make a brief statement? Paula? Do you want to go for it? I mean, I'm happy to make a statement. I think all of you know I'm, I'm very passionate about public education. I've been working hard at it at the local level, and county level, and the state level. Um, we live in a town um, that all the other towns in Jordan County would like to emulate Fort Lee, and they'd like to emulate our town uh, on the, the state level as well. Our public schools are good, but they could be stronger and they could be better. And so I want to use my energies to lead the district. I think we could be doing a lot more at the committee level. Um, we could have more robust committees. We could be doing a lot more with some of the reports that the NJSBA sends to us. I think we need to develop more in the way of camaraderie between us and work together as a group. And I would put my focus on that. Um, and uh, if I were to be elected, whoever is elected vice president, I would be counting on them um, to, to step up and work almost as a co-president with me so that more work could be accomplished. Um, we, we, we have accomplished a lot today, but I think I have the energy, passion, and focus to take it to another level. Thank you, Paula. Holly, can you project? Yeah. I've been on the board now. It's going to be my ninth year. Um, I've been elected three terms. Um, I'm extremely passionate about our school district and our community and all the Catholic. Um, I'm, I wear my heart on my sleeve, and my word is my bond. And 
I have always been for senior teaching for the staff, and that's what I intend to continue doing. Uh, there's nothing hidden about me, no hidden agendas, and it, it, it's never been uh, about politics. It's always been about our school district, our children, and making them succeed, because in them succeeding, we succeed. Thank you, Holly. Thanks for reminding me. Um, okay, I will now uh, call the roll uh, for Paula Kobath as president. Ms. Han Silver? No. Ms. Stassow? No. Mr. Rubino? Yes. Ms. Ramba? No. Ms. Richter? Yes. Ms. Morell? Yes. Ms. Kobath? Yes. Ms. Byers Kang? Yes. Ms. Cho. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to do the roll call for Holly Morrell. Ms. Han Silver. Yes. Ms. Stassow. No. Mr. Rubino. No. Ms. Rab Ms. Ramba. Yes. Ms. Richter. No. Ms. Morrell. Yes. Ms. Colbath. No. Ms. Byers Kang. Yes. <laughs> Ms. Cho. Congratulations, Paula Kobach. Thank you. You have been elected as the president. Please come take your seat. I appreciate that. I So we're going to open the floor for nominations for vice president. And I, I'd like to start the nominations by nominating Kristen Richter. Are there any other nominations? Did someone have their hand up? Handy. Handy. Yes, I'd like to nominate Do both of the candidates accept the nomination? Because I see you going like this, Esther. So I'll, I'll decline. Okay. Any other nominations for vice president? So I think we'll have a roll call vote um, on Ms. Richter. Ms. Han Silver. Abstain. Ms. Dessa. No. Mr. Rubino. Yes. Ms. Ramba? No. Ms. Richter? Yes. Ms. Morrell? No. Ms. Colbath? Yes. Ms. Byers Kang? Yes. Ms. Cho? Yes. Mr. Rubino? Yes. Congratulations, Kristen. Did I call you twice? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, Kristen. You are um, the vice president. So I know I know a lot in our audience came for this part to see the um, people get you're welcome to stay. I don't know if we want to just take a quick break or just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. But we're not going to take offense if anyone leaves at this point, but we're getting into our regular business agenda, which tends to be a little dry at the reorganization meeting. So now we've got to take a look at this. So I know that we, we everyone has the reorg agenda. I'm trying to find on the uh, computer screen where, where this is. But in any event, does anyone have any comments? or questions about items on tonight's reorganization agenda? So, well, I have um, a couple that I think I, I would like for the benefit of our newer members, if you could explain Hakisha items O, P, and double G, just so that they have an understanding of what that is. 
certainly. So item O, therefore be it resolved that the Fort Lee Board of Education authorizes the school business administrator to make line item transfers of funds at the state chart of account level to be made prior to the account being in deficit and therefore subject to ratification at the next regular board meeting of the board. So line item transfers are budget transfers and uh, districts typically have more account codes or use um, an extended account code numbering system than the state requires. And so what this authorizes me to do is make transfers um, to the larger, to the longer account codes so that nothing is in deficit. Um, the line item transfers is presented at each board meeting for ratification. What was the next one? So, OP and what else? So P and, and uh, is this a necessary um, item P? So P goes hand in hand with this allow so it allows you to pay bills between board meetings and then the item would come up after you've already paid it for us to approve it, as I understand the resolution. And I'm wondering, is that necessary? And why wouldn't we just have all the items on our bills list and we approve them and then you pay them? Um, Ms. Holt, I think I could just make a comment. I, I believe we approved it last year too. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's just, is that right? Correct. Correct. But it also goes hand in hand with, with another. But if you could explain the necessity so that our new board members appreciate Ms. Taylor, why we're we giving up that authority. Other resolution last year because uh, the board was not in favor of appointing staff. Right. Three meetings. So that's different, but uh, so this goes hand in hand with item T. Um, if you look at page 10, um, sort of toward page 10, uh, right above uh, item U, um, where it says, be it further resolved, the uh, board secretary and her designee are directed, directed to execute warrants without further action when, when due. And so together, O, I'm sorry, uh, P and T, and we'll do a better job next year putting these closer together. Um, they essentially allow us to continue to operate. So uh, we have bills that are due and need to pay them when they're due. For example, our bond interest payments, our principal payments, um, our health insurance, um, salary payments. So we get paid twice a month on um, the 15th and the 30th. And so these two resolutions together authorize essentially the business to keep running. Those are steady bills of every month, right? And we know those are steady bills that we have every month. Yes, but sometimes they could be unsteady. There could be, um, you know, different bills. Particularly at a time when we only have one board meeting in the month, which is July and September. We always have a Sometimes we have a, a little bit of a lag time in there between the meetings. Yeah, this is, this is a, this is a, this is a common um, item um, on most districts board board agendas. We work simply to keep things running. If you don't if you don't allow that to happen, then you'll be having several special meetings to pay health insurance, to pay the insurance broker, things of that nature. Some of you may recall who were on the board when I started. That one of the charges uh, I was given was to make sure we paid our bills on time, which uh, had not been happening. And uh, those of you who remember, that was a mm -hmm. conscious effort we made when Ms. Taylor was hired to make sure that bills are paid in a timely fashion with our vendors and all everything else so that we are in good financial state. So, I mean, does it have to be an estimate that we will run next year? Or is that well, this is part of the reorg process. Yeah. It's one of those standard reorg items, but absolutely um, at the pleasure of the board. If the board does not want to authorize that, then we would have meetings in order to pay bills. <laughs> I just, because it's a more technical one, I just wanted to make sure that, that they understood what that yep. ramifications were. Yep. Um, and then on um, resolution X, it's to continue the appointment of our current law firm through June 30th, 2021. And at our last reorg meeting, the board um, agreed to go out for RFPs. We did that. And then the day that the bids or RFPs were to be open, was the day that the governor declared that schools should close. So we never completed that process. And um, I'd like to 
to hear people's views. It would be my recommendation that we go back out for RFPs and we change the date in resolution X from June 30th to February 22, which would give us either two or three meetings um, to, to get the RFPs to, to examine them and to make a decision on the 22nd. We could always extend the current firm on that day. I would say maybe March only because I think from the last time we did it, we definitely needed more time. Um, because from the time you get the RFPs, I know the administrative team does an analysis and then they kind of rate them. Um, and then they do, I'm trying to remember the future. You guys so could do it March 8th would be the next meeting after yeah. the February 22. I think just because I'm trying to remember what they did. Was they went through a rubric where they rated them and kind of narrowed the field and then the committee there was a committee that um, met with them and interviewed them and then narrowed it down to two firms that then came and met okay. with the board. You know, th there was a whole process and it definitely took more than two months. So March 8th is that well, it, Someone would need to make a motion to amend right. resolution X to change the date June 30th, 2021 to March 8th, 2021. And would someone second it? Okay. Um, Julene seconded it and take a vote. One second. <laughs> uh, resolution to amend X um, from June 30th, 2021 to March 8th, did you say? And, and just for the new people, this doesn't mean that we're changing the law firm. We're looking at what law firms do this type of work, what type of billing rates they have, what they're willing to offer the district, what type of experience they have. And if we decide that we don't like any new law firm, we are fully free to continue with the law firm that we have. But I think, and, and many members have expressed it before, that it's incumbent upon us to go out to bid on most of our professionals just to see what the rates are and what's available. And we can always stay with our existing professional. Okay, so the motion on the floor is to amend item X um, from June 30th to March 8th. Uh, the motion was made by Mr. Rubino and seconded by Ms. Stassel. Ms. Han Silver. Yes. Ms. Stassel. Yes. Mr. Rubino. Yes. Ms. Ramba. Yes. Ms. Richter. Yes. Ms. Morrell. Yes. Ms. Colbeth. Yes. Ms. Byers Kang. Yes. Ms. Cho. The motion to amend item X passes. You have my script. The script is on your. Oh, it doesn't really. Uh... Uh, fuck, but that's okay. Sure. Yes, they are. When when um, we opened the intermediate school, I spoke with uh, the principal and vice principal at that time to ask if they they felt the need, and they said for now, um, no. So that has not changed. Probably due to COVID, they haven't um, reevaluated it. But correct that the intermediate school is kind of built in with the middle school on item I. Okay, can I have one other question on EE? It's where we're approving our membership in the New Jersey School Boards Association and the Interscholastic Athletic Association. Would we normally include the Garden State Coalition of Schools on membership in that? Uh, we do generally in the August meeting. Okay. You know, we could add so we it here as one of those regulars, but it doesn't matter. Okay. They're, they're so then, as long as we continue with that. Are there any other comments or questions on the reorganization agenda? I want to say thank you to Esther and Candy for all the years of service. I'm going to get to that. <laughs> president, vice president, vice versa. Uh, thank you. So since, since Mike brought it up now, I was going to do it after. You know, I too, and I, I think I speak for everyone on the board. Um, Esther, you led the district through a very, very difficult time. I mean, meetings that... Um, We've never had the attendance that we had. There were um, strongly divergent views. 
Um, they were difficult to manage. And um, you worked with Ken to get our schools open, to open them safely. And um, we all appreciate you know, the, the endless hours and, and time you have a full-time job. And we really appreciate and know that a lot goes on behind the scenes that we don't always see every other Monday night. And we truly appreciate you know, your dedication and it goes for you too, Candy, um, all of the effort. It, it didn't go unnoticed. And um, we hope to continue the good work that you guys started. Thank you. So I, I think we're gonna close comment on, on the agenda. So um, we're at the point of the agenda online where it said hearing of citizens. And so at, at this point, may I have a motion to open the floor to the public? All in favor? Uh, I'm sorry, Mike Rubino was first and who was second? Uh, Ramba, thank you. Candy Ramba, seconded by Michael Rubino. Any abstentions? Any opposition? So Board Secretary Hakisha Taylor will share how tonight's public comment session will be conducted. And I'm not sure what, what you're gonna say on that, but we don't have a lot of people here and I would like to dispense with people making comments, us taking copious notes, waiting and answering all the questions at the end. I think it's much more efficient um, to just answer as the speaker finishes. If you don't, I just think it would go much quicker and I was never a fan of taking all the notes. I found it uh, quite difficult myself to re get down everything that every person said, especially when there were a lot of them. So if we could revert back, I don't know if that's a board vote. We never voted in order to change the procedure. So I would think that that's president prerogative. And I would like to um, just answer the questions as they're asked. The only thing I would say, Paula, is that actually the the public comment section is, it's it, it's uh, statutorily comment, um, uh, comment, not question and answer. So when we actually, but, so, but we want to develop no, a, a positive. Let me, let me just finish. Yeah. So we can actually do, you know, we, we didn't take a vote to change it because it was actually statutory. But you, you're, you're the president. No, I mean, you well, can, you we, can. We have been. Everyone asked the questions. Ken and Esther were taking all kinds of gotcha. notes, and so were the rest of us. And then, so no so vote after 30 people, we would try to answer the first question. And I just don't think that that's an efficient way. And I would like to go back to the way that we've done it historically. Do you want to do a vote on that? I don't think we need a vote. We didn't take a vote to change it, and so we don't need a vote to go back to what we did for for the entire time I was on the board. We'll open the the. Um, meeting to, for public comment. And if there is a Sounds response good. necessitated, we'll, we'll try to do it. If we don't have your answer tonight, we'll tell you that, you know, we'll look into it and, and someone will get back to you. Thank you. We will first hear from any members of the public that are physically located at the cafetorium tonight. Then we will take questions and comments from those participating remotely. Those participating remotely can select participants from the bottom center of your Zoom screen. From there, select the raise hand button from the bottom right hand corner. For everyone, please state your name and home address for the record prior to beginning your comments. Please limit your comments to three minutes. Does anyone from the public here at the cafetorium have any comments? If so, please approach the podium. Would the handsome guy in the back come up to the podium? Um, Madam President, members of the board, superintendent, administrators, and of course, members of the public, Mark Tacos, 45 Euclid Road, Portland, New Jersey. Um, first and foremost, congratulations to the incoming board members, Tanya and Wayne, good luck. Best of luck. And Lisa, congratulations on the re election. To the members that um, are no longer here this evening, congratulations and thank you for your service. And of course, to Esther and Candy, thank you for your leadership over the years. Good luck to you, Madam President and Madam Vice President. Um, I will pledge to you that I will, in government, our side of the fence, do everything that we can to work with you. You have my assurance on that. And I, I just wanted to share with the board and the members of the public that, you know, I've often been heard to say that the most difficult local job, not just for me, but the state of New Jersey, is serving on a local board of education. These are very, very passionate issues. 
that are incredibly important issues. They deal with the safety of our children. And I can tell you, I, I know just about every single one of you personally, and couldn't think of a better group. Every decision you make is always going to be folks that are going to be on other sides of it and contrary positions. But I know that every decision that has come out of this board has always been incredibly well thought out. This agreement is not Um And I just also wanted to share with the board one other thing. We are going to have a tough time here in Fort Lee in the next three to six months. You know, I, I just beeped on the way up. I don't think they call it a beep anymore. Packs on the way up. We're just under 1,300 positive cases. Now, we were only talking about 450, 500 two months ago. And that's where these numbers have gone with the second wave. It's a scary place to be. Thank goodness that there's a vaccine out there. I couldn't even begin to predict when I would think we're at least going to get it, but we're pushing as hard as we can to get it. So we have challenges ahead of us. I couldn't think of a better group, but you all work together to get everybody through it. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I'm proud to serve with you at the local level. And uh, if you need me, call me. My number is published. And um, like I said, best of luck to you. And uh, we'll get through this together. So congratulations on your elections and your swearing in tonight. I just want to come by and say hello. And Ken, happy, and happy New Year, everybody. And Ken, good team. Thank you. Any other members of the public seated here at the cafetorium? Yes, please approach the podium. Thank you. Congratulations, Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, I know following the mayor is always a tough act to follow in any situation, so I figured I'd go next. But being a board of that member is a difficult job, I know. I did it for seven years prior to being voted on to the council. So thank you for your service. Thank you especially to our executive members, Ralph and Lauren. Thank you for your service. Congratulations to the newly elected members. It's a tough job, and I know that you guys will do a great job. I've known you both of you quite some time. I think I've known everyone on the board of that here for quite some time. So thank you again for your service. If you need anything, like the mayor had said, the governing body is there for you. And I know we talk all the time with the mayor. And so anything you guys need, we're here for you and we're willing to work together. As the liaison to the mayor council to the board of education, I'm always working and talking with whoever. I, I know the Mike is there, one of the liaisons as well. So we always have a and We are always available to you. Um, I think it's going to be a tough few years with everything that's been going on, and I know the county's working hard to try to keep everybody working as well. So if you need anything, please, please, please feel free to reach out. I know most of you have my number, if not all of you, everyone. <laughs> so please reach out. Let's stay and keep this a cohesive group and work together. Thank you so much. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Diane, Diane, can you hear me on Zoom? Is there anyone else? Luba, would you like to come up? Sure. Is there anyone else that would like to speak that's here present? Okay. There are none on Zoom. We have no one on Zoom? Correct. Okay. Um, I have a motion to close the floor to the public. Okay. Second. Motion by Mike, second by Candy. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstentions? Okay, so we're going to move on to the resolutions. Uh, may I have a motion to approve items A through G, G, and I don't X, I think, as X amended, yep. as amended but, uh, with the shortening of the date? Motion. Do I have a second? Second. Kristen. Kristen. Motion can be second. And Ms. Han Silver. Yes. Ms. Dessau. Yes. Mr. Rubino. Yes. Ms. Ramba. Yes. Ms. Richter. Yes. Ms. Morell. Yes. Ms. Colbath. Yes. Ms. Byers King. Yes. Ms. Cho. Yes. Motions pass. So I left a little bag in front of everyone, and, and um, I'm hoping after tonight um, we can develop some camaraderie and I would ask that I want um, Kristen to know as much about what's going on as I do. And so um, I've committed to her that if, you know, I get contacted by Ken about something, you know, uh, she will know and I'm going to do my best to get notify all of you as to whatever it is within 48 hours. There will obviously be times where maybe a decision was made and I didn't have the luxury of 48 hours, but I'm, I'm making a commitment to you to try to keep you informed of all the discussions that I have so that I don't have more information on any subject than any of you. Um, Kristen and I, I'm, I plan to look at all the sheets. I'm gonna share all the sheets with all of you, whatever you put down, everyone else is gonna know. There's no secrets here. Um, I'm gonna put together as quickly as I can a proposal. Uh, Kristen will look at it and, and if things need to be rejiggered, we, we will coordinate together to do that and try to get that out to you as soon as possible so people know what committees they're on and what liaison positions. Um, I, I think that we should have a liaison for the Fort Lee Public Library. I haven't spoken to them because I just wanted to raise it with you. I think it's a organization in town that we should be communicating closely with given what our charge is. And so I would like to add that the liaisons are not in by, by specificity in any policy. So we can just add that. And so if people think that that's a good idea, um, I would reach out or Ken, I mean, well, I- Ms. Colbert, we do have a representative that sits on the library board. And who is that? It's been Mrs. Baker for the past, well, since I've been here. Okay. And just recently, uh, Mrs. Kim, the new supervisor, is taking that role. Okay, I, I think a board member oh, would that's be fine. good. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I, um, so I, I plan to add the Fort Lee Public Library, and if there's no objection, I think that the planning board and the board of adjustment should be collapsed into one liaison. Um, you know, the functions are similar, and um, we haven't been very active there, um, and so I think it just makes sense to collapse those collapse those two. So also, I, I left everyone a, a little bag. I'm, I'm hoping we can all start off on a productive foot and work together. You can always reach out to me or Kristen. If there are items that you would like to see on the agenda, you can send an email to us, uh, to Ken, try to include us so that you know we, we can um, stay informed about things. Again, I would like you to include both me and Kristen so that um, you know that would save time with me forwarding and, and, and everything. I want her to be... Um, totally up to speed on things. There will be times I think it will be good training for her. Um, I might have to show up some night and just have a little bit of a stomach ache and, and I'm gonna, I've told her she's gonna handle the gavel. Um, so the, the little bag in front of you was just my idea to try to keep things light and, and move forward on, on um, a collaborative basis. Um, so it, I put together just a little survival kit for all of us to get through 2021 together. And the first thing that's in there is a snowflake ornament for all of you to remind you all that I view you all as very unique and bringing different experiences and knowledge to the board. And I hope that we can capitalize on all of your experiences. And I, I hope you're all very active and come to the meetings prepared with questions and that you leave meetings understanding if someone asked you when you walked out the door why you voted for something, 
you could articulate a basis. And so if you have a question or you wanna know what alternatives were considered or, or why a particular entity is being recommended, I wanna encourage you to speak up and, and we'll get the answers. Um, there's a shiny penny in all the bags to remind us all how our, each student in this district shines in their own way. There's chocolate to keep you all sweet and kind. There's a paper clip to help you hold it together and to stay organized. There's a safety pin to remind us that the safety of our students and staff is always paramount. There's a candle for those times when you think there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And I included a lottery ticket. I think it's up to 360 million tonight because when we all work together for the good of our students, great things can be accomplished and our students will have won the lottery. Thank you. I, you're all very welcome. Um, so may I have a motion to adjourn? Motion? Yes. yes. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> I would have put a party hat in if I had known. <laughs> before we adjourn, before we adjourn, what's that? Ah, but before we adjourn, I hope you don't mind. Please indulge me with the with the flamingo glasses because someone has said if if I will wear this, they are going to make a donation to the PTAs. And so we're gonna close the meeting with the flamingo glasses so I can get the donation. Yes. You don't have what? I don't have flamingo glasses. No, they're, they're not. You actually have a flamingo ornament in yours if you open up the green paper. I just wanted to say thank you first for allowing me to serve on the board. I feel very honored and humbled and I wanted to thank everybody for and for those that may not have, um, those that have that I think it's extremely serious risk. Um, I'm gonna work as hard as I possibly can to continue making this district the excellent that it is. So um, if anyone wants to reach out to me, I'm very accessible. My phone number is somewhere as well. So I would love to hear it. My ultimate goal is just to continue being an advocate for Yeah, go ahead, Tom. Hi, I would like the district to know that I love our parents in the school and that I think our parents work very hard and I appreciate them and I have seen them change children's lives and I would just like to make that known. I am very appreciative to God for my seat and I will do my very best to do everything that the pledge said. Thank you. And, and, and Tanya and Julene, any questions, any board member here, if you call them, will give you whatever information and knowledge that they have. So you should feel free, you know, to call anyone on the board. And I'll just remind the newly elected board members that the oath needs to be signed at the bottom and returned to me. And the, um, the other, all other board members have an acknowledgement of the code of ethics as well as a copy of the committee interest form. So if you can return those items to me as well, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll scan it if you collect them. Okay, them. yep. Anyone else have like to say anything before I ask for a motion to adjourn for the evening? So could I have a motion to adjourn? <laughs> Motion, Rabino, second, Ramba. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming out.